Okay. All right, so we're picking up where we left off yesterday. We were discussing the different types of directions in humans, the positions, uh, for anatomical positions, and then we're going to move on to the tissues. I believe this is where we left off with lateral. Um, so then what goes along with lateral is medial. So medial means closer to the midline. Laterals toward the side and medials toward the middle. Transverse is a line that divides the body into superior and inferior halves. So that would be top and bottom, basically. The line that divides the body into top and bottom. Finally, we have sagittal. And sagittal is a line that divides the body into right and left. <coughs> so those are the directions <coughs> that you will see quite a bit in these next few chapters. To the human tissues. Uh, so the study, I think I might have that first. Yes, the study of tissue is histology, and it's usually studied under a microscope because uh, tissues are made up of cells. So remember that a tissue is a group. Yes, a tissue is a group of similar cells that work together to perform a similar function. Uh, we have defined that in the past, but. Most tissue is um, vascular tissue, meaning that blood cells run through them. Uh, and that's important because uh, blood cells then supply the nutrition to, to blood vessels, supply the uh, nutrition to the cells in the tissue. There is some tissue that lacks blood vessels. So then it's really thin tissue because it has to like, get the nutrition and the oxygen from nearby blood vessels. But most tissue will have blood vessels in it. So it can be supplied with oxygen and nutrition. Uh, but the microscopic study of tissue is histology. And that really is important in studying uh, for diseases, especially and disorders. And they study tissues for that and figure out ways to help those things. Uh, there's four types of tissue, or four main groups, really. And it's all based on their structure and function. First, we have what's called connective tissue. Uh, connective tissue includes things like uh, bone, blood, lymph, tendons, fat, cartilage. Uh, it's probably the most abundant and most diverse type of tissue. It's there to support, connect, and protect the body, protect other structures. <coughs> Uh, usually the tissue might have uh, what's called, it might be embedded in what's called a matrix. And that's just the substance in between the cells. The matrix, depending on what cells you're looking at, it can be a fluid matrix or a semi-solid matrix or even a solid matrix like bone. Um, <coughs> many times it, there's a lot of things that are fluid, right, like your blood. Um, has fluid, lymph has fluid in it, tendons and cartilage and stuff are semi-solid. So there is that matrix that the cells are embedded in. 
less connective tissue, probably the most abundant type of tissue in the human body. Then there is epithelial tissue. You find epithelial tissue, it covers and lines the surfaces of organs and blood vessels. Um, and other organs, or, yeah, I guess I that. It covers and lines with organs and blood vessels. <coughs> it can either line interior or exterior. Uh, your skin, like especially the first layer of skin, is epithelial tissue. There's, yeah, it covers, most organs have epithelial tissue covering the outside of them and then lining the inside of them as well. And then some of them might have special functions, like there might be cilia or mucus secreting cells. But that is epithelial. It's usually a... Uh, sounds like an elf name. So, sounds like a what? An elf name. An elf mm -hmm. <laughs> You want to name your epithelial? <laughs> uh, it's usually smooth tissue, too. All right, then of course there's... Muscle tissue, uh, and these are just what it sounds like. It's muscle cells that can contract. Uh, now, it's not necessarily just your muscles like, that you think of in the body right here. Skeletal system muscles, uh, or the muscles that work with your skeletal system for movement. Yes, those are composed of muscle tissue, but there's other types of muscle tissue, and we'll look at that when we get to the muscular system. There's skeletal muscle and smooth muscle and cardiac muscle. Because, uh, you know, the, even your organs, like your stomach, has muscle tissue in it. Uh, your blood vessels have muscle tissue. It's, <laughs> muscles are not just, you know, your biceps and your whatever, triceps, those things. <laughs> um, those are the most important. Uh, and then you get the legs, too. Um, never miss legs. Yes, I know, I never miss legs. Never skip leg day. I'm just hard. i tired. It's the one workout that I definitely never miss. I hate the leg you days. Know, the next day I always feel like jello. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's one of those workouts that the one that I'm very motivated to do is the one that I do. Like a, the one that I don't like the one you see those pictures on the super The one that I see those pictures of the super buff dudes and like skinny legs. And that's skinny legs. Yeah, it's not a girl. It's not me. Yeah. It's important because it's all guys with like these teeny little legs. Don't see this body. Yeah, I don't really need to do this one. There's a dog. Core and cardio. Not really, but like legs are my least favorite. Yeah, but also I have really bad knees, so that's yeah, the reason why I don't like it. And it's always so afterwards. Alright, and the last type of tissue is nervous tissue. Yeah. Um, these are cells that of course will receive and transmit impulses. Uh, they, they do it from muscles and other parts of the body. Uh, they can interpret the environment. You know, this, this is nervous. Well, we're going to talk about the nervous system in the last chapter. Um, but this is your brain, your spinal cord, and then your nerves are included that have nervous tissue. And then, of course, there are sensory receptors all throughout the body. That's part of your nervous system, part of the nervous tissue. So those are the four main types of tissues. And most of the different parts of our body are made up of a combination of those four tissues. No, that's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Miss Dobson, how's it possible? This is, I don't know, I don't know. But how's it possible to get shot like in the head, like up here, and then like survive that? Depends on which damage test you're doing. I've had a family from that. Crazy family. You'd be amazed what the human body can survive. It would always Don't depend on it. where exactly the. <laughs> Oh, don't find yeah. out. Though. And how much of it was damaged? I don't get the liver. The liver um, regenerates. So, yeah. Now that they do liver transplants, they take part of the liver. Yeah, they take part of the liver. You can be a living liver donor. Just like you can be a living kidney donor, because you have to. So. Yeah, yeah. I want to donate my liver. 
I want to donate my kidney. <laughs> I told my mom that I would do bone marrow for some random person if they asked me to. You can actually get on a bone marrow registry when you're probably at least you're 18, but um, you, they just do a, like a, a test and so then they'll know your blood type. And I heard that you have to do a profile. You have to match. So it's like a long recovery. Yeah. Even if it was, I'd still do it. But is it like a long recovery? No, I have heard that it's it's painful because they use the pig needle and shove it in your hip, basically. Are you awake? Yeah. Are you awake? Yes. It's well, they can take like all of my organs because after that I'll be dead. So they can just have all of them. I ain't using my my organs. Plus, they separate. I need one of your organs. No. What? I I did not hesitate. I said yes. Of course they give you two. I got her, I got her, I got the two pink. That's what I did. Sure. I, I go, I don't know. I, I was like, yes. <laughs> I don't I plan to be in any accidents. <laughs> no, I like Nobody plans. I like it. We're going to today. And I mean, you, you guys don't worry about the package. It's going to get married. It's going to be discussed with your significant other. For a limited time, though. Like, oh, what you wish to happen. There's no way to do this. For a limited time, though. I think organizations are great. Mm -hmm. uh, there's very few people that are willing to donate, you know, have their organs donated after they die. My thinking is, why do you? You're not going to take them with you <laughs> yeah. once you're dead. It's like you're going to take them. They're not going to take them from you if there's any chance of them living. Exactly. You know, they're not going to stay there and, you know, purposely kill you to take your organs. They don't do that. That's not what hospitals do. Science is just waiting for almost dead. Some people, have this fear, some people have this fear that they say they're an organ donor on their driver's license that the EMS people won't try to save them. Because of, oh, they're an organ donor anyway. <laughs> As if they would actually do that. That'd be funny. I think that, like, I don't know, my thought process is, like, if I'm like if I'm like dying like I'm not here on the earth like why not help somebody live? It's yeah. really new bodies in heaven anyway. Like so. we could just gonna be like oh this guy's dying let's cut this guy open and the they actually oh, his kidneys <laughs> remove your, they remove your organs when they involve you. Yeah. So if you're exactly. getting involved that, they actually remove your organs that's first. That's why it's so weird. <laughs> no one has well, Some people choose not to be involved. Mine says organ donor so that's disgusting. Yeah. Well, if you're in a coffin and buried in the ground, it really doesn't matter if you're involved or not. Some people, because they have a that is like the control. Yeah, because they have a viewing or a service or whatever that they have. I'm not even like buried. That was one of the hardest things with my mom's funeral. Was it worth much on the earth? Because I hadn't seen her in so when I walked in. I think I want to be cremated. Uh, that was really? just like instant or you want your because oh. it was well, just one thing? Yeah. when you I haven't seen your oh, okay. and the guy and then you see it. I don't watch really like just take like little squeezers. People travel the world, just put a little bit here. <laughs> but I, I don't see who wouldn't do that. I wouldn't want to like <laughs> donate a lot of my organs. And I was trying to talk what to the person well, like, that I had I'm gonna give my organs but like I don't want to like here you go. Hey, my family to pay for the casket. <laughs> they knew what to do. They, they're used to the people. Do what's cheap. Can you make money off of like, so. like uh, <laughs> that's illegal? <laughs> well, no, I know, but like, so like, if a person dies and like, at least you just said, can you make money off of like selling? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's, that's illegal. That's called the black market. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, when you die, it's illegal. Yeah, <laughs> but like, when you want to give your organs to like help out other people, like, so basically, like. But if you, you don't get any money, right? If you die, you it's don't donate money. money. You're dead. No, no, I know, but like, would it go to your family, the people who no, are no, no, no. You and you, and you can either be, I mean, there's people that, the I don't know, so not everybody yeah, finds out where they're worth, like if they get an organ donation, where they came from, but some people actually meet the relatives. Oh, this one's right. I it's a relic that, you know, you can talk with your spouse a lot of makeup in this. and tell them these are my wishes, but they actually make the final choice. You know, it's, it's your family that makes the final choice oh, whether or not to have it done. I want my words. So, it's like, why can't I make the final choice? If you do, choice you have to make your wishes known. You know, my okay. husband and I have actually talked about it. And, you know, it's, don't make it a morbid discussion. You just tell them, you know, if anything ever happens. If I get hit by a train and I splatter along the ground. <laughs> well, then, like, I'm, I'm sure your organs aren't. What do you want? Your organs aren't going to be splattered along the ground. <laughs> well, whichever ones are left. The energy is going to be to you. What would happen you can get on the train tracks, wait for the train, like, push it or stop it or something? Let's push the train. Oh, what is wrong with these? Games. Have you seen the guys who lay under the trains? Yes. Because they're stupid. 
that's like run out in front. Just like there was one. There was a video recently of somebody rescuing somebody. Or maybe. I, I think I, yeah. Was it a train? Oh, was it a, oh, was it a guy who was like trying to commit suicide or something? He was like sitting on the edge. Yeah, there was some. Why did they have to say someone was doing suicide? Like, some lady's car had broken down and she was stuck on the tracks and she was so scared she couldn't move and somebody Whoa. like ran over and like grabbed her out of her car. Or something. Mm -hmm. That's scary. So like, why does your car get stuck on the tracks? Maybe you know, like the battery cells. Uh, yeah, it's, I, her her car for some reason was stuck. Because I, I but I've heard that like some some people like on train tracks like their cars will stop. Yeah. Like and if a train's out. like you know, and it's like something about maybe it's an electrical. Thing. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, that's really weird. I wonder if it's electric cars like all of a sudden it's. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, good. I'm driving a Prius. gas powered vehicle. <laughs> that's a Prius. Exactly. <laughs> what else? Is this car is electric. Not the exhaust manifold. Miss This what? Is it? Like, if you're about to commit suicide, like, let's say the cops catch before you do. Do you go to jail? It depends on what you were doing. I think. Suicide. Like, like, like if you're so up on a building where you're not supposed to be, then yeah, you'd probably go to jail. Like if you're in some place that's restricted, or you know, if you're carrying a gun, you're not supposed to. What if you like have? If you have like those open carry thing, like you're in your front yard, it's like. All right, anyway, moving on. The tissues are then organized into organs. And like I said, organs are made up of different types of tissues, usually all four of them. Um, and then organs are grouped together into systems. And that's really for man's convenience to study them in system form. That's actually how we will study them. We're going to divide the human body into systems. Um, and there's really just ones that have related function. But there are some organs that, you know, maybe they, they overlap because they're in, in a couple different systems. Like respiratory and circulatory. Yeah, we usually do them together. They're in the same, you know, in our book, they're the same thing. And like skeletal, skeletal and muscular system. Really, you can't talk about one without talking about the other. So it's just kind of overlaps. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is look at the different systems that the body is divided in, into. <laughs> For covering, we have what's called the integumentary system. And that's actually going to be our first study. Uh, and we're going to discuss mostly its skin. Uh, but also your hair and nails are included in that part. And that's for protection, of course, mostly. <coughs> All right, then we have um, two systems for support and movement. Uh, that would be the skeletal system. And we will look at that. We'll look at bones and cartilage and joints. We will learn several other bones. The bones. I've never learned that. And then, of course, the muscular system is the muscles. And we will study, like when we study the muscular system, it'll be skeletal muscles. But then we will look at, like, the cardiac muscle and the when we talk about the respiratory system and then you have smooth muscle, which is really organ muscle. <coughs> All right, then we have, we divide it into um, <coughs> incoming substances. So the two systems for incoming substances are the respiratory system, you know, because air coming in. Um, so that will be, that's your lungs and your trachea and your nose, and, um, bronchi, lungs, you know, we'll, we'll look at how air passes into the body. Alveoli is part of the lungs, yes. And then, of course, the digestive system um, that's taking in food and, and liquids. And that's all your digestive organs, like your stomach and large and small intestines, and the accessory organs like the gallbladder and the liver. We'll look at those all together. <coughs> and we'll talk about how your food is digested. They like to eat, but they don't like to think about what happens after eating. Ravioli cumber sausage. I'm scared. Oh no, I made one. It's but, uh, but it doesn't start with a B. It's baby blue candlestick. Okay, you know that. I'm sorry. Benadryl cabbage patch. That one's my. That one's my favorite. That one's my favorite. Benadryl cumber patch. She plays Sherlock. There's a TV show. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. 
There's like a joke on the internet because his name is so complicated that people just like no, we just purposely like replace it. it with like other names. It's oh, like a B and a C him. Mm -hmm. And he's we 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 watched oh, a movie in his world history and he's in it, so we've just been making jokes about it. Uh, okay. Oh, the yeah, like, bit of yeah, bit of bit of joke yeah. cabbage patch. My like, like, is like a bunch of letters. Blueberry picnic. Yeah. Oh yeah, blueberry picnic basket. Benjamin cucumber. Baby blue oh, bendy straw. Bendy oh, straw. bendy straw. Oh, bendy straw. I don't know. What was that? Bendy <laughs> straw cucumber snap. That's because he's so skinny. <laughs> okay, he looks like a praying mantis. He does. Is he April first? <laughs> Wait, I wasn't doing that. Yeah, it bad day or it goes out. Bad day. Oh, okay. 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 And then there's also the lymphatic system, which is really combined with your immune system. Because we're talking about lymph and lymphatic vessels, your lymph nodes and all that, and how your body fights off disease. Wait, is this what part is of that? the... They're not the map. It's still the same slide. <laughs> or it's still the same title slide. So it's under so the um, organs. <laughs> system. Wrong person. Sorry. Oh, okay. Right, because it said organs are grouped together into systems. It's not systems. Oh, okay. I just couldn't fit it all in one slide without it being like microscopic. Well, it was weird because yesterday he came in um, during practice and Mitchell was like, Miss Wide, did you know that Matt Cole's going to be here? And he, she was like, No, I did not. Hello, why not? So I have no idea. Well, I just don't understand for teacher appreciation week why we can't sing a third day song. I agree. I agree. You're right. It's like, well, third day, really? I'll petition to have. They're gonna happen. start singing. We just start singing third day. Yeah. 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 Uh, me and Alicia will start singing third day too. Then yeah, it's gonna sound like yeah. Like yeah. Like yeah. yeah. It's gonna sound really bad, but you know we'll praise that. Woo! <laughs> Call them up. Hey, can you make it like here, like now? They're like, what's this? Actually, they have it. Like, where are you guys at right now? We're on a tour. They came here after Christmas. Uh, uh, well, you better get some plane tickets. <laughs> 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 they're not on tour. Well, except for Mac touring with somebody. The lead singer is touring with them. Toby Man? Yeah. They are here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I like Toby Mac's old stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't like his new stuff. Every time I hear like, yeah, like it's, it's, so nice. it's so like poppy. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, then for excretion, for eliminating waste, we have our excretory system. We'll talk about Sad. that. That includes our kidneys and, and such. Uh, and oh, then really we do have systems for control of our body. Uh, that would be the nervous system, of course. Brain and spinal cord and all your nerves there. And we'll talk about the sensory organs like our eyes and ears, how they work. And actually, that's where we'll end this class. Uh, there are two more systems, but uh, we just won't cover them in this class. But this is the endocrine system, is also used for control. Um, that's what secretes your hormones. And, whether it be, you know, the hormone insulin or growth hormones, and you have adrenaline, those types of things, uh, is taken care of by your endocrine system. And then finally, there's of course your reproductive system. So, like, the teacher having a separate chapel? No, uh, there's supposed to be some kind of special something going on with it. Because Miss Wall was like, I have to do three chapels, and we were like, yeah. Oh, they're having their own chapel. Oh, okay, that okay. makes sense. No. Does that mean that we have to do three chapels? No, she said we only have to do two. Oh. But, um. Because the APA is doing something for the teachers during the chapel. What is APA stand for? The APA Parents Association. Oh, mm -hmm. that makes sense. For teacher appreciation, we put it in. Instead of secrete, I said create. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not correct. That is the same. Thank mm -hmm. you.
session, but I like the word below. Cushion the organs from injury. <clears throat> it's usually the cavity, you know, surrounded by the bone, then it has protective tissue, sometimes fluid. Everything's designed to like, be held in place and protected so that we can move and, and be normal and have, do our activity that we do or even participate in sports. Okay, first of all, you have the cranial cavity, and that's where the brain is. And the brain, it does fill our cranial cavity. And I think we talked about reptiles, crocodiles in particular, like their brain doesn't fill their cranium, it's just a tiny little brain. <laughs> but not humans, humans, the, the brain is. I just thought of the dentist trying to like fix a cranial cavity. Okay. <laughs> All right, then you have the spinal cavity. That is, of course, houses the spinal cord. And there's fluid in there that helps protect it and nourish it. Now, the trunk actually has two main cavities, and those two cavities are separated by an organ called the diaphragm. And the diaphragm is basically just a muscle. It's one large muscle. It functions during respiration, but it does divide the body into these two cavities. The first, or the superior cavity, the one that's on top, is called the thoracic cavity. It has your heart, your respiratory organs. First thing I thought I said Jurassic. Jurassic. Oh my well, gosh. Yes. Like, what did I do? They just. Uh, <laughs> no. Okay. So, yeah. That's all right. Nathaniel Blakovia is obsessed with that, so he plays it during study hall sometimes. Oh my gosh, he plays that music during study hall? Yeah. So he yeah, plays a lot of music. I support him. So it's usually just like he loves, background music. What's the name of the composer? John, John Williams. Williams. Yeah, he's obsessed. Oh yeah. Okay, and then you have the abdominal cavity, which has the digestive organs, reproductive organs, and excretory organs. So back to the time we had like 40 minutes left of class after the test. Mm -hmm. I can't, I, walk, like, I left the class when I came back and everything was done, and I was like, that's really fast.
I spell things wrong in my notes, but well, it's, I like, it's okay. I get it. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> One day I'll call my son Gus. Remember Gus? 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 Yeah. What, 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 you can't Gus? spell esophagus without Gus. Ouch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. When you say Gus, I think of Gus Gus from Cinderella. <gasps> oh, yeah. I think of the little caterpillar from the from the kindergarten books. I was thinking I of the old books. Oh my gosh. I have all those books. Because I see them on Karis' stuff. So, they still do that? Uh, a little bit. I remember that so distinctly. He would always be like, hitting oh. on the pages. I know, yeah, he'd be just sitting there. Where's Gus? Gus so cute. Gus yeah. reminded me his name was so good. You were looking at me, Butterscotch. <laughs> okay, that's actually it for today. Yeah, we have um, oh, 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 You're not gonna like do this and like Friday before spring break and be like, you have five pages of my work your kids ask questions. Sorry. I don't know what they mean. Yeah, yeah. This is four pages. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.